Hey everybody, welcome back to Daytime. Fina Scropo is here. She is the woman behind the healthy Italian, and most importantly, the woman who is feeding me, as always. As always. I Girl, love to feed you, you know how much I love the, well, your food in particular. Um, Thank you. Now it's fall, which means we're transitioning into delicious, delicious soup season. What are we making today? Comfort is the word, right? Mm -hmm. So we're all about warming up the soul and the body because yeah. it's getting cool out there, it's right? Disgusting outside. So, so, <laughs> so soups are always a great way to do it. And you know, the other great thing about soups, we'll oh, lower this yeah, a little bit. Little we're going to get Jeff to work a yeah. little bit here today. Um, great thing about soups is they're pot and like one pot meals. And they're full of nutrition, they're full of color, they're full of, of goodness, mm -hmm. and they can fill you up in one sort of serving. So Plus it's you're great. Getting, what I find is you get all your, like you said, nutrients. You're getting all your yeah. food groups one go. Absolutely. So we've got here a creamy cauliflower soup without cream. You'll be delighted to hear how tasty and nutritious it is. Oh, I cannot wait. We're making today a lentil soup, brown and red lentil soup, my favorite of all time. Okay. Um, in Wait terms a of, of a We're filling. making the lentil soup? We're making the lentil soup. But what else did you bring? But I did bring you something else I know you'll love. Okay. And it's a kale sausage white bean soup. Ah, uh, hello. Yeah. That's delicious. I knew delicious. I'd touch you that way. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, so already we have chopped onions in here? Yes, we've got onions and garlic going with a little bit of olive oil. So this is basically the holy grail, right? When you have onions, garlic, celery, and carrots. Carrots, that's right. So it's that's right. Oh, it's very good. You've been doing your homework. Girl, I so, know. So, yes, of course. With any soup base, there's a couple of things that you need to make a wonderful soup. Okay. And so, obviously, your stock, a yeah. low sodium broth is always great. Yeah. Uh, low sodium, of Vegetable course. Vegetable or chicken, depending Vegetable on. Vegetable or chicken, depending on your preference, depending on the soup, depending on the taste. You can make your own, too. Great way to make, oh, do you That's smell my that? favorite smell in the wonderful? entire world. So you can make your own too. And what I love to do is I love to boil some water with some fresh herbs. Yeah. Um, and we can add things like bay leaf. I yep. brought some dry bay leaves just to show you how wonderful they are and how great from your garden? they can be. Actually, they're from a friend's garden, believe it or not. Is, it, is she a nona? Do you nona? believe that? Um, she's a nona. Yeah, the nona makes the <laughs> She's a nona. Only nonas know how to actually grow And basil. so she's got a great greenhouse. And look at the bay leaf that I got there. So I've got I've got dry bay leaf, but it's it's almost as fresh as picking it off the bush, which right. is wonderful because she just grew it the summer. So you can make your own. You can put some carrots, some celery, some wonderful herbs like like bay leaf. You can put some sage if you want a little bit more robust flavors. Yeah. Um, and you just let it simmer. Potatoes, you strain the vegetables, you've got some great, great broth, homemade broth. And you can add that into soups and stews, anything like that. So that's that's the base, the foundation of a great soup. Question. Yes. We have the, what do we have in here first? So we're making the lentil soup. Okay, no, but we put some, oh, it okay. was the garlic. So garlic and onions. The order is important, yes? For this it is. After that, you can just dump, 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 okay, which is wonderful, question. which yeah. is why I love this soup, because it's so easy to make. And um, it simmers in 20, 25, 30 minutes, wow. which is great. Because most people think, oh, soup, I'm going to have to let it sit. It's going to have to simmer for a long time. No, 30 minutes, you're done, which is wonderful. You prep the night before, 10 minutes. You, you cut up all your vegetables. And really, then you've got 25 minutes to I wait. By the time you set the table. sitting on my couch having a beautiful soup made for me somewhere. You know, that just, that just seems like a good life, doesn't it? <laughs> it huh? does. But you know what? Yeah. How great is it if you got into the kitchen? I don't want to do that, And that, that woman that you're looking for sees that, and she's there. She's like, oh, yeah. That woman will appreciate me not <laughs> horrendously screwing this up. So once we soften Tomatoes. up, yeah, once we soften up the vegetables, we're going to add in some canned tomatoes. They're peeled tomatoes, and they're low sodium, of course, again, because, you know, we're going to bring, bring in all kinds of other goodness, and the broth is going to bring in a little bit of, of uh, salt and flavor, so we don't need much of it. Yeah. In the way of salt in our vegetables. See, what's interesting is soup never starts like soup. It starts like a bunch of mush. Do you know what I mean? Like, because it's got everything just in there, mushy. It can be a little mushy, but at the same time, the flavors all infuse together in that broth. See, that's what you did. You bring it back so to good. So you bring it, yeah, you bring it back to goodness with all that wonderful nutrients. Okay, so what's then this? this is what I love about soups, especially hearty soups. Yeah, yeah. So this is the legume family. These mm -hmm. are lentils. These are brown and red lentils. Mm -hmm. My favorite because they cook within 25 minutes. Mm -hmm. They don't require pre-soaking mm -hmm. like other dried beans mm -hmm. and legumes, and they're full of goodness. We're their gonna, fiber, protein, all of that. We're going to take a break. When we come back from the break, we're going to finish our soup. Mm -hmm. uh, but for the cookbook and all recipes, where do we go? We go to thehealthyitalian.ca. That easy. All right, guys, more daytime after break. Don't go anywhere. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to daytime. I'm still with Fina. Uh, okay, so we made uh, basically a healthy soup before the break. 
Uh, for people who are just tuning in, what went into this bad boy? So it's a lentil. It's brown and red lentil soup. Mm -hmm. It's got a lot of fiber and protein. It fills you up throughout the day. It's got uh, carrots and celery, yeah. some uh, spinach. We've got some fresh spinach in there, and we've got some broth and some canned tomatoes. And that all comes together beautifully like this in 25 minutes. Okay, so... <laughs> If I'm making this at home, do mm -hmm. I put a lid on it and let it reduce? What do I do? Yeah, put it on uh, a medium heat. Put the lid on. Yeah. Give it a stir every few minutes. Do I? And that's it. No, no, because no, no, that's need to only for the it. cauliflower. We're going to do that for the cauliflower one, though, which is a wonderful soup. Are we Another making one. that today, too? Um, no, no, but I'm okay. going to show you what to do. Okay, great. I'm going to show you what to do. So we've got a lot of choice in cauliflowers, winter greens and cauliflowers. Now the time to bring in some of those great. Um, vegetables. Uh, believe it or not, what is this? Cauliflower has so much vitamin C. People don't know that. People think that it has to be orange, and there is orange cauliflower, by the way, to have great vitamin C. This is a green cauliflower. There's Romanesco. There. I mean, it's it. It's a palette of. Where beauties. does one find a green cauliflower? At the grocery store. Stop it. Isn't I've been in the great? grocery well, store. I've never seen that. It, there, it's there. It's, there's orange and it, there's purple. No, there is There not. is. I'll show you later. I took a picture of okay. it. Okay. Um, so that's the great thing about our grocery stores these days and, and bringing in seasonal produce is that mm -hmm. we can really celebrate the colors and the flavors from going to the grocery store. For more information on where Fina grocery shops to find all this <laughs> elaborate fruit uh, and vegetable, where your Twitter handle is. I'm telling you right now. <laughs> okay, sure. Um, so, creamy cauliflower. So, we've got cauliflower, a little bit of potatoes. They simmer in a beautiful broth, lots of seasoning, a little pinch of nutmeg. And then we add um, no milk, um, excuse me, no cream mm -hmm. whatsoever. Uh, this comes together just by pureeing, and it is a hearty, Bowl of goodness. And then you put I've, pumpkin seeds on the top. I topped it with a bit of pumpkin seeds, a little bit of fresh thyme. Certainly, you can have it with some crunchy, crusty bread. You know, uh, it's almost November, mm -hmm. and November is Prostate Cancer Awareness Month. Mm. I guess that's why you grow the mustache. And pumpkin seeds are good for the male prostate. So you're taking care of your hubby too while making the good Fantastic. soup. Fantastic! I love that. While you're, yeah. Just throwing down information, girl. I Just, think that's wonderful. Yeah, you're that's welcome. Why they pay you the big bucks? Yeah. Um, and then we have probably your favorite one of the three here. We've got a kale, sausage, and white bean soup. So what we did is we took a lean sausage. I've mm -hmm. taken a lean pork. You can use a turkey or chicken. Yep. I've taken it out of the casings. I've browned it a little bit with some garlic and onions. Browning means you saute it? Saute okay. it. You cut it up in pieces. You brown it a little bit. You, you make sure that it's not pink before you add in your broth. Right. You're adding your broth. You're adding in some kale. Because you don't I want used... to cross-contaminate. Well, you just want it to cook well because yeah. this doesn't cook very. It doesn't. It's not a very long simmering soup okay. either. These are quick soups, which is wonderful. Um, but you want to make sure that it's cooked through. I'm gonna smash that when we go off air. <laughs> like that soup stands no I chance. I that just for you. I'm aware. So yeah. all we're doing here is we're letting it simmer with some greens, some zucchini for some bulk. We've got some. Uh, I've used the Tuscan kale. I love this kale, don't you? Scaly, isn't it? Looks like dinosaur. That's... Guess what? It's called dinosaur kale, too. Yeah, because it looks like you're eating a lizard's back. Like, look at it. it that's the ugliest fruit I've ever seen in my Think entire life. Think about the kids wanting to eat their greens. Oh, it, it, Many paleontologists are going to go for that. Would you like to you eat can, a dinosaur's back? It's you so can, some vegetables. Listen, you can have kale. You can have the regular kale, the curly kale. Yeah. You can have Swiss chard. You can have um, oh, collard awesome. greens. Okay. Lots of great winter greens available. So that's what's great about that one. And then we're just pouring a touch of little evaporated milk just for a little bit of that creaminess, topping it with some parmigiano, and you've got a wonderful filling meal. The book. What do you find when you get the book? The HealthyItalian.ca has answer. all. A <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> little busy there. Yeah. Has uh, all the locations. I'm in chapters in Indigo stores, Amazon.ca, Chapters.ca, and some retailers as well. And easy recipes anyone can follow. Absolutely. Even has this to be guy. easy. Of course. Easy, right. approachable, 30 minutes or less in most cases, and uh, the whole family can get involved. What I like most about Italian cooking is the fact that it's simple, healthy, great recipes. For sure. Uh, um, it's building on a cuisine that's been around forever and people mm -hmm. really enjoy. And you know, I always say make it your own too. You know, I've got a cauliflower soup. Top it with what you like. Accompany it with what, what you like. Salads, herbs, whatever. Make it your own. Okay. Um, you know what? I'm just, we're going to keep you a little longer. Right. Uh, guys, go to the website for more information or all of today's guest info. We'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Uh, the cookbook is The Healthy Italian. Uh, Fina is still with us. There's no more time really in the show, Fina. I just said you might as well stay here and hang out since the soup hang is... Hang out and just take in that aroma. Do you smell that? Yeah. It's amazing. Right before lunch hour? See, Perfect I, time. I gotta be honest with you though. I kind of, like, I know I want the sausage soup, 
but I kind of want the cauliflower soup. I know, it's so good. How does one decide? It's so creamy, it's so delicious. Well, you can taste all three. You got them here now. See, but you know what? Go what I, like what I do, for example, sometimes I'll make two batches mm. of soups and I'll keep one in the fridge or I'll store it in the freezer. I'll have little sort of um, containers yeah. for, to, to bring along uh, during lunch. And it's perfect because then you've got lunch already made for you. And it always tastes better the next day. Now, we are going to have you on once a month. Do you know what you're making so next excited. time? It's going to be November. Yeah, it's going to be gonna November. I'm going to have a mustache. We're gonna so <laughs> it's going to have to be something I can eat oh, without getting a stuck. You know stack. what? I'm going to have to think a little bit about that. Mm. Might be bite sized things. Yeah, so it might can be. Sort of just, you know, open up and just toss it in. One of the things I've learned is that when you have a mustache, you get to eat twice. And you also, <laughs> everything you like, you also get to drink twice. So, like, if you have pop and you lick your mustache, it tastes like it Pepsi. It tastes different, yeah. You, or can, Coke you get to or store it. You, you get to store it and enjoy it later. Uh, go to her website, guys. Uh, the cookbook's amazing. You can find great Italian Thank recipes you. there. Tomorrow we have a brand new show, same old host. We'll see you then, kitties.